Jesus took our sickness. He took it. That was put on him. Why? Just like sin was put on him. So, so we could be made righteous and so we could be healed. And all this points to Jesus. It don't point to us. That's why we need to, like John, behold the Lamb of God. If we can see him, we can see that. And so that's what we want to focus on. Our self-righteousness is as filthy rags. Who wants it? Who wants that? And, you know, there's expressions through the church, you, you know, you self-righteous hypocrite. <laughs> it's not a pretty thing, is it? That's not, that's not, that sounds awful, don't it? Well, that's because, real and truthful, it is awful. And that's like saying somebody that says, well, I'm good enough. You ain't good enough. You can't be. I, I can live good enough. See, you can't live good enough. Praise God. Well, I'm just, amen. That's good stuff there. Now, this, 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 is a part of what he's talking about here in these, uh, these spiritual blessings that he blessed us with. See, it's in him. It's in Christ. We didn't deserve it, but it's not. It, would, it was, let me read on, and this, this will help us. This is uh, verse 4. Let me read it out of King James, then I want to read it out of something else here. Verse 4, according as he hath chosen us in him, before the foundation of the world. That we should be holy and without blame before him in love. Having predestinated us unto the adoption of children by Jesus Christ to himself. According to the good pleasure of his will. Now we're talking about God here. In whom we have redemption through his blood. The forgiveness of sins according to the riches of his grace. Now notice what, look, look, this is the picture of God here. This is what God has done. Even before the foundation of the world, he's already saw this. Now, let me read this out of, uh, again, the God's Word translation. It, it's good. Now verse 4, we'll start back up here again. Before the creation of the world, he chose us through Christ to be holy and perfect in his presence. Verse 5, because of his love, he had already decided to adopt us through Jesus Christ. Now that's God's love. This focus on him. He freely chose to do this so that the kindness he had given us in his dear son would be praised and given glory. Through the blood of his Son, we are set free from our sins. God forgives our failures because of his overflowing kindness. And that's God. We're talking about God. That's God doing something in Jesus for us. That's his love. And it's in Christ. It's through Christ. It's because of him. It wasn't because of us. So be careful and don't get religious and head off on that other road and dishonor the Lord. Praise God. And let me tell you something else. Somebody says, well, that sickness come on you because... Well, listen, I would encourage everybody to live right, all right? I'd encourage everybody to do right and love your brother like the Bible encourages us to do. Do good, he says, and curse not. Bless, he said, bless and do good, Jesus said. Well, that's the right way. That's the right way. But, but uh, uh, just because you're a uh, and people have made this mistake through the years, they say, well, you know, if anybody should be healed, it should be, well, what's that supposed to mean? Well, that's like looking out in the world and saying, well, if anybody should be saved, it should be, what? You mean that other person that's worse than they are shouldn't be? 
Mm -mm, that's not right. That's not right, is it? See, that's self-righteousness coming into play. Well, you know, somebody's grandma, that was the best woman in the world and she never got healed. Well, grandma didn't get a hold of the word like she should have. That's just the truth. And, and, and she might have been, you know, a good woman. No doubt was. But, but you're going to have to get a hold of some stuff. It's not about you. It's about him. It's about him. The gospel of Christ. That's the good news. It's what God has done in him. And then putting us in him.